tinkering is uh, as much about life as much as it is about technology. The popular perception is that tinkering is a, a workshop with tools, electronics. Uh, but I think tinkering is more of a state of mind. If you have a child who is making up words, so I mean, children make up lots of words. Probably scrumptious is a word that is made made up by by children. And I think uh, children are tinkering with language. Okay, so that is, I think, that is completely acceptable as tinkering, doodling, uh, while a lecture is going on, or more important, while a lecture is not going on, but because you love it, is tinkering with shapes. Okay, and making stories is tinkering with uh, your mind or their own mind. I think these are all aspects of uh, tinkering. And I would say that tinkering is is play really, but it's really mindful play. It's the play that I want to want to be in. Okay. And uh, I think tinkerers are actively exploring their world. They are exploring their uh, likes and dislikes. Tinkerers actually don't care about what the people think. They 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 want to be on their own. Okay. And tinkerers are not really respectful of authority. And so then it it makes for a strange marriage whether we should have tinkering in schools because uh, the popular perception of schools is that schools are all about authority and hierarchy. So uh, it, it, it really is a challenge to some extent. On the other hand, tinkerers are not perfect, uh, uh, particularly disrespectful. I think as, uh, as the Zen people would like to say, they just are. Like students tinker or teachers tinker. So they are breaking down hierarchies and I think this is really the key point. So they want to make peace with themselves, they want to play around, play with the world around them and they are developing confidence and finding identity and this really to me is the spirit of tinkering. It doesn't have, I mean, electronics and computers are of course one manifestation but I think we should probably have a broader view of it. Okay, that tinkering is something a lot more. Okay, it's, it's much more empowerment than anything else. So I would like to come back to sort of learning. Learning has various levels, starting from sort of the most obvious or rote learning, which is called knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis and evaluation. Many kinds of education is criticized for rote learning, imparting knowledge. Tinkerers are actually synthesizing and evaluating. So they are really at the highest level of this learning tech, uh, learning taxonomy. And therefore, school should really be investing in thinking. Okay. So, and but in the right spirit. Now, computers are certainly a good way to tinker. Computers say provide an easy way to tinker with math. Okay. So GeoGebra is one such uh, software that used to be there, which provides a good way of tinkering with math. Logo Scratch and many of the Python uh, derivatives or other derivatives are, I would say, poor man's robotics. These contain robots that move perfectly on the screen, that can draw, make sound, interact with the on-screen world. And today we have seen how thrilled uh, students can become with these and they can, they can feel in charge of, uh, uh, of, of their own uh, entertainment or learning. And I think that is, that is the kind of empowerment we want to have for all. This provides motivation to learn other things like trigonometry or math or physics. And uh, there are variations like star logo and knit logo, which allow you to think about uh, cooperating agents and the swarms and uh, su such, such computation as well. While I'm all for tinkering, I think we should not tinker too much with the school curriculum. Or if we do tinker with the school curriculum, it should be with some kind of caution. So tinkering is very personal. I might want to tinker when the mood strikes. Schools tend to be these very, very regimented objects, regimented institutions. So how they handle this is very, very tricky. You may not want to tinker with the same things that I want to tinker with. And Mitch Resnick, who is the creator of Scratch, has put it very nicely. So he, he wrote an article in which he said that uh, Scratch gets used by two classes of people or two classes of children. One class likes this math programming aspect of it and the other class likes the storytelling aspect of it. So in Scratch, you can actually tell stories very nicely. You can create your own pictures and animate them. 
and and the support for it for that is really phenomenal and and it's such a such a beautifully crafted program but importantly he's paying attention to the sociology of it i think he's so i think he had mentioned that tomorrow everybody will need to use computers and what he's what mitch resnick has tried to do through scratch is to bring in not just the nerds into programming but also other people and i think that's a really solid very solid forward looking step school curriculum is already heavy and so we really need to figure out if we want to think about uh, tinkering in school how do we how do we integrate it with uh, other subjects parents pressurize children because they think not the children but the parents think that computers are cool and computers are fashionable so that is again i mean i i'm 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 not in favor of empowering the parents i'm in favor of empowering the children and that is really what it should be at the college level also we feel that people who come into the college level are not empowered they are not saying that look i love doing these things so what we did a few years ago was at the, the iit bombay entry level programming course we put in a library like uh, scratch and it has been quite popular students love using it and they make games and they make all kinds of other things and of course it uh, it is it can be used to explore more interesting more interesting more college level things like physics logistics grander simulations i do believe in tinkering using computers and robotics but just let's just keep the broader uh, the broader perspective